And you can't do anything, even if it's the fucking right thing, because you get backlash no matter what. I that... try not to be biased on the conservative side, even though I am conservative. Right. I try to see both sides of the argument, but on this side, dude... I mean, just the evidence is just... I mean, it's clear yeah. as day. It was self-defense. If it would have... If he would have shot those three people and they weren't fucking doing anything wrong or anything like that or attacking him, then okay, that's a different... That's a way different scenario. What? Yeah. I also don't know why I pay so much attention to that. It's just... A lot of the shit that goes on, though, it's just like... You know, my grandpa, with both my grandpas being veterans and stuff like that, I just... Like, especially the whole taking away gun aspect of shit. You know, it's just like, you know, we've had that forever and we've had... You want what they fought for. Yeah, I mean, that's just my thing. That, and can you imagine this world... Can you imagine the shit that would go down in this world if we didn't have guns? I mean... That, I mean, first of all, that's just fucking sick. But considering it's literally a constitutional right, I mean that's just. Yeah, I mean, for our country, you guys don't have guns. Yeah, and but I mean. Okay, but now that we already have guns, we cannot take those away. Yeah. Cops are banned with everyone, including. Guns are banned in everyone, including the cops. Some people are going to have guns, so they're criminals. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's just the problem. Fuck! Oh, it's, uh, it's just a fuck world. Yeah. I wanted to be... I mean, I... I've all, I wanted to be a cop for a really long fucking time, but, I mean, I can't. Not anymore. I can't, man. No, I can't. can't. Now, if that? now if Pritzker gets voted out in this fucking state next year, I may reconsider. Well, I can tell you, we are not going to get here. Really? We'll probably won't on that show. Our state is so blue. Yeah. That's the problem. None of us have a voice. It's all Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, that's just my thing right now. Is I mean, yeah, if Pritzker did. If Pritzker gets vo voted back in, we're completely screwed. I mean, I and I don't understand how the fuck you could even vote for him. Yeah. Like. Like, even my, I mean, here's my, even my hot take on this. J.B. Pritzker is a worse Democrat than Joe Biden. There you go. That's, yeah. that's my ha fucking hot take. There you go. That's, cause, and I don't, and I don't even like Joe Biden, but the fucking fact Pritzker has done the shit that he's done and gotten away with it is insane. Yeah. I mean, Joe Biden hasn't really done much bad. And he's good. Yeah, he's fucked a lot of shit. The, 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 fucking, well, that and his poor, his fucking piss-ass planning for Afghanistan. Yeah, that, was, that, was that was just a stupid, I mean, I agree with pulling the troops out, but he did not make a good fucking plan whatsoever. I mean, that was just piss-poor planning. Dalton, what do you think about this? Dalton, I don't think, really pays attention. No, I don't get involved in politics. I mean, me and, I, mean, I mean, me and my friend Michael have a, I mean, me and my friend Michael have a fucking politics page. Podcast. We do do podcasts. We're on Spotify. Yeah. On Spotify, we have an Instagram page. Oh. Politics on the rocks. The art emblem. Is actually uh, Samantha drew it, uh, uh, drew up our fucking emblem that we got. Which we're actually we're working on. Me and Michael are gonna start working on copyright stuff here in a couple weeks to get it copyrighted. So 
But yeah, we've had this podcast for about a year now. So, I mean, we've got, I mean, we've got some, per we've actually gotten, we've gotten a lot of good feedback off of it. We got, I'm mean, trying to think, we just got the Instagram page, I'm trying to remember, I think it was back in like August or July, and we've got almost 500 followers, so it's not horrible. All the advice I can give you is you try your best not to be biased. Oh, believe me. I mean, we fa I mean, we're more in favor of a lot of conservative shit, but I mean, we do try to keep it more even play field. But yeah, it's hard to do anymore considering how fucking stupid shit gets. It's honestly very difficult. It's very difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. I mean, we try, but some of this shit, we're like, okay, there is no way in. Fuck, we're even gonna make a comeback to make this an even. One, we're supposed to set up. We're supposed to have an episode. Uh, we're supposed to have a conference call. One of Michael's friends, she works over at uh, NASA, and we're supposed. And she's supposed to talk about, like. Over there, literally, they have to have their, they have to have their booster, and all two of their COVID shots, and still wear masks, and still test, and shit like that. And if they don't follow by the regulations, you're either fired or you're fined a thousand dollars a day. That's kind of stupid. That I mean, that shit's just like ridiculous. And so, we're supposed to have her on the show, eventually, here down the road. Yeah. But. Are you vaccinated? I need to go get vaccinated. I'm thinking yeah. about it. I'm thinking about it. I mean, we're all gonna have to fucking get one eventually. And, and plus, I'm and plus I'm planning to go to Quiet Cannon next year, so I'm gonna have to get it. So. Well, maybe it's a maybe. yeah. It's a thing. Yeah, uh, Canada, I don't know. I mean, Canada, if you're only just crossing the border, I don't think it's really going to be a huge... I'm just Ontario, that's what I'm going at, yeah. hopefully. But, Which is not, for me... It's not too far of the border, actually. But, like, for me, it's just, like, eventually, at some point down the line, in the next three years, we're... I mean, you can't even go to concerts nowadays without getting vaccinated. Yeah. I'm not worried about side effects. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just, it's not even side effects, it's just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's something I really haven't put what? much thought to. Yeah. That or I either fucking forget about it and I just kind of let it go after a while and I'm like, yeah. I just kind of think that, that affects the COVID, there's no way that the vaccine could be worth long term effects. My brother got a permanent cough. Yeah. I mean, I had COVID. I haven't had any issues after yeah. effects, but everybody obviously it affects it affects everybody different. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I lost my taste and smell for about a few months. Yeah. I had mine was gone for like two months, but. First is that my brother had to cough. That one ever really. I mean, I was sick for quite a few days, but it, I mean, I didn't have any. After effects. Yeah. But like over the last couple days, and it started, I think it was Thursday night, I had a headache on one side of my head, and I thought it was just a normal headache thing, and I took ibuprofen, and it went away, and I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning, and my, my head on one side was killing me again. So then... Like, last night, I took a leave at my dad's and it went away. Well, then, I woke up this morning and I had pain in my shoulder, but it was also giving me a headache on that same side of my head. And then when I was driving, I felt like my nose was running and I start my nose was bleeding. So, I'm, I'm keeping it. I haven't, I took ibuprofen earlier today. And it hasn't really, I haven't had a headache since then, but my shoulder pain's starting to come Damn. back. So I don't know if I got, 
a pinched nerve in my elbow it's caught or no my shoulder it's causing my headache or I don't know damn I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it though cuz I might have to go to the doctor <sighs> if it keeps up holy shit yeah 